This is a quick video on how to create a Bingo Baker game, Bingo Baker, B-A-K-E-R. So here's the website. What I wanted to show you first is the um, player side. So maybe you're a teacher using this in the classroom, that would be your students. Uh, maybe that you are using this in any other scenario, your players is your audience. So this is one I made with some science questions. You can click uh, generate card and so the person might say what is a fungi and so it, it's you know, if I had this card I'm going to click the mushroom uh, obviously going to click my free space so it's really easy to use you just click the different squares you can click them again to unclick them um, when you get a bingo nothing happens on the screen uh, so obviously this person would have to you know raise their hand and say that they got the bingo so to get this created, you're gonna to go to bingobaker.com and you don't even have to have a login. Um, however, if you do choose to do that, know that it is uh, about $25 for a lifetime membership. Um, so I just wanna give you that information. You can search for cards that already are made. Um, so you can search for, I tried searching for science and I didn't find one that I wanted. Uh, so you can also just scroll down and create your own bingo right here. Uh, so what I did is I just opened up a new tab and search for stuff, uh, you can do pictures. So for example, if I search for a mushroom, um, I can find an image that I like and I can save that image to my computer. I'm just going to tile what mushroom. Um, and now I'm going to simply click on any of these squares. You'll notice this pop up here on the left hand side. I'm going to click on add or remove image and I'll be able to upload that mushroom just by double clicking and it appears there on my screen. And you saw how that looked on the uh, player side. They're pretty decent sized pictures. Um, notice that if there is text on them, the text might be a little too small for them to read. Um, so hopefully that works for you. Um, if you want to just do text, you can just type anything that you want to. There's some different formatting options over here. You can kind of explore that as you go. Uh, you can also change your size. So if you want a really small uh, bingo board, you can do a three by three. Five by five is the default. You can even go up to seven by seven. Um, also what I encourage people to do is after you fill this whole board up, to add more um, vocabulary words or pictures or whatever down here because then that will when they generate their own card it'll make it more random so every time uh, your players access the link it'll generate them a card that has random choices from this board up here and any extra words that you had or images that you had down here you can edit the background and the text and the grid lines i don't ever really do that um, so after you type whatever you need to type in, you hit generate and it'll tell you your cards are ready and uh, you can do this right here. You can say play online. You can just copy this URL by clicking on this little icon right here that copies it and then you can paste that wherever you want to. So uh, the purpose of my card was for educators so they could put that in their um, LMS uh, like Google Classroom or uh, Canvas or um, Microsoft Teams or anything like that, you can put that link in there for your students to play. Um, if you are not in a classroom, you could simply have your people type this link in or you could create you know, a QR code to it. And every time that they go to that link, just like I did, they're gonna click generate card. And every single time they do that, it will be a random card. Now I only have two words, so it's not gonna be very random, or excuse me, I have one word in one picture. So you'll notice it is moving those in different spots, but it's not putting them anywhere else because I don't have any other words on there. Um, that is a pretty quick video on how you can use Bingo Baker and create your cards for people to play online. Thanks for watching.